he was the man when he got on that court. He had that spin move. DC legend. The flick of the wrist that he, when he shoot the ball, you know? He was just that good. He was just like the Michael Jordan of DC. I used to enjoy coming out and looking at the size of the crowd. Basketball was looked upon a way of getting out of the neighborhood or the poor house or the ghetto at that time. The good part of my story is the fact that out of high school, I was what you call a phenom. I averaged uh, 38 points a game. Been overseas for 10 years, played five years in, in uh, CBA, so it all sounds good. I made a bad decision. I tried to sustain uh, the life that I was living, that I was awarded through basketball, and I uh, ended up uh, making a mistake. So I ended up going to jail for 18 years after all that good stuff. I was convicted of uh, armed robbery and money laundry. Y'all got a chance, man, to uh, use me as examples of consequences of making bad choices. One of Maryland's great. Yeah. I came out of prison last year. It's been a good year, and it's been good to uh, still see these guys who helped me to, to, to get released. But it was good to see you, though. To be out here and play and have uh, players that I grew up with and players that I, we honed each other's skills against, uh, that's the, the biggest thing about it. And, and some of the friendships that I had wasn't tarnished by the decision I made. Up and under, oh, what a pass. I'm as good as any 50-year-old could be. I always tell people that ask me, am I still playing? I say, yeah, uh, when I was the magician, I had a lot of moves, and now I'm down to two moves. <laughs> so I try to keep them moves good enough for me to be able to play in this 15 over league, and so far I'm doing pretty good. It's hard to find a job. It's 110 jobs that you can't have if you have a felony working here at Horton's funeral home. Mr. Horton, who also plays in his league, he extended his hand to me and asked me uh, if I like to drive or have I ever drove a limo. Or... I'm driving on uh, funerals. I'm picking up bodies, dropping bodies off, learning how to do some embalming. Okay, shut the door, man. It's a strange job, but it's a good job, and someone has to do it. Every time I see a, uh, a person that's deceased, it could have been me. Um, it could be me down there on one of them tables 20 years ago when, when my decisions were bad, trying to stay on the right path. All right, give me up. Take your team down there. Call them up. I have a uh, basketball camp where I teach on, on the weekends. Where I teach young boys the fundamentals of basketball. I talk to them about life skills. Now I'm compelled to uh, use my experiences of the good life as well as the bad turn I made to uh, kind of help some other kids. I made a bad choice. I made a bad decision. I made it through and I'm still uh, living my life and I'm not ashamed of it because I can help someone else.